Hey guys, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, kipping muscle up transition work. All right, so just a transition working towards doing a kipping muscle up. Um, so I'll, I have two sets of rings here. I'm gonna start with the easier variation. Uh, you can change the height, the lower it gets, uh, the harder the variation. So to start, this is where people make uh, some mistakes setting up. Start in the bottom of your dip. So make sure the rings are hanging straight down. Right, don't walk forward with them first or anything like that. So that where the rings are, stand between them. Set yourself in the bottom of your dip. Put your legs out in front of you and lock your knees, okay? So notice my position here. My knees are locked out, okay? This is my start position. You have to find this position first, okay? From here, you're gonna drop down. You can maintain false grip or practice non-false grip, up to you, okay? Non-false grip's a little harder, but again, keep your knees locked. You're gonna come down to a hang, pop your hips, and come through. Okay, this is the end of the movement. No press out, that's it. All right, so again, hang, pop your hips, come through. You should finish in the same position you started. To make it harder, you bring the rings, uh, the rings a little bit lower. All right, so this gets harder. Okay, even harder, I could put my feet up on a bench. This starts to get pretty tough. All right, so again, keep working on snapping the hips through. Keep the knees locked. All right, so that's pretty tough there. Uh, you can work this all the way up to doing it on high rings, just practicing the transitions a good skill. All right, so without the dip, so you can reserve some energy and just practice that part of the movement. Okay, that's it. Have fun.